lot of hype and a lot of expectation towards Paper Rex as United. Let's see how they're gonna fight on that. But Jing already quick takedown on the Killer S and it seems like it's Keeper Rex already sieging on through and playing the aggro, covering fire though, courtesy of the jet here as Jing gets a second. This dog is gonna bite hard, but Jing's already out. The flash will come through. They do get a couple of tags here. BMV actually gets another. Forsaken just dips right in as Jing spots out the spike already. It's been dropped down. Heisey. Yeah, and we haven't talked about the favorite Rex comp besides the Reyna. That is the most old school thing I've seen in forever. Double double intel with the Cypher with the Sova. You have the Omen and you have double Duelists. It, it's a blast from the past from when Reyna first came on out. But the camera out. work again, just to be a big bother. Heisey already spotted, tapped by the intel. He moves over to the right hand side. Might have the angle hit, but Forsaken. Quick shot there to get the takedown and Paper X. Smooth to being attacker sighted, or uh, at least the, the rotation is in their favor. But look at how quickly they actually get through. Killers only able to just get the one frag here. And Venkai is starting to heat up a little bit. Forsaken just gets away as he updrafts, but BNB already on the case, not allowing this. Uh, this now. FCY not falling for that tap. Benkai, will he go for the defuse here? Guiding like the call to get the intel. And B of VZ and High Z clean up nicely there at the end. Fancy Knight that get on the board. I think we were asking about it. You, you play a silky comp and then you just go for the shots anyway. But now no shot against Forsaken as he has brought out the operator. Fault line avoided. Good. You kind of swing out a little bit more aggressive. And if they try to wide swing onto the right, they will be caught by it. And there it is. Spots out one, dashes through. Let's be caught by BMV, but damage be taken, damage be done. Heisey might get pushed out here by Benkai, but Paper X taking the slower path as they group up as the rest of the squad comes in. There's a peek out. BMV does get the kill, but it's still a two versus one as the round continues, and Benkai's already on the spike. Actually, no, one versus one, and he is hard committing onto the BMV. He doesn't even know! He made it! He got it! He made it! He made it! Tim, they do have a setup. The thing that will happen here is we're taking on the close. The fight with the bla uh, with the recon dart, and how well can he manage or even convert? Not really going to be as good. And Dubai sucked and blinded, unfortunately. <laughs> Just no way to see what was going on. As soon as he hit the ground, a little bit more, everything will be relying on him. And we know that there's on the. Quick commitment with the cost of Dubai. But Jing is just oh, ready for the first oh, one. Try. Not the second though, as inspiration comes from the SI can. Nice start though from Heisey. Catches out Forsaken as well. Opening perhaps Spike though left in the middle towards that B site. Fancy United now can be committing Spike towards planted. that area. But Ben Guy saves bye bye. So Acerolo real quick gets an upgrade from the corpse. And this is now the cost of Dubai dissipating, so they might have the sound cues here for both sides. And you can see how Fancy United has adjusted since the wall is gone. They're ready to play on the outskirts instead. Blind comes Paranoia, perhaps. And we also have the dark cover in the way as well. For Paper Rex, though, someone needs to siege in front. And his name is Benkai. Yes, I can. On the right hand side, and all PMVC seen. Trying to set things up. Flash does come, though, to get the blind on. Mind break no! two from afar. And you think he's the one on defuse duty? No. He's the one on protection detail instead. Oh my god, for Paper X, honestly. Because you would either get hit by the breach setup or the sky setup. As Bankai inside the smoke finds the turnaround to get the takedown on Killer S. Heisey there. Oh, who fell? The Cypher, actually. But really, it was a damn, you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't. But Mind Freak really setting that one up well. Paper X only need a bit more of that kind of situation. Acerola in the face of Jing. Yes, I can. And Acerola leaning up nicely. They just push on forward. Oh, left though. Oh. Two Forsaken. And it's time now to see if he can actually make this one work. Dash on through. Stop the wall just to fake yeah. things out. Heisey will get spotted, but yes, I can. It's a layer of alert there. Charges. Courtesy of Fancy United. Nice off. And Vapor X has whipped out things like the chamber, the sky, the sage four on their local scene. So it's a another configuration that Vapor X is willing to bring. But you can see immediately that this puzzle is solved so quickly by the shots of Vapor X as soon as FC. You know what they gotta do. But Fancy, you wanna switch the. Switch it up and just charge in with the Rolling Thunder. And Killer's not wasting the opportunity. I love that. He just used his utility to stay away from his own team's Rolling Thunder. And he rode the wave to just be able to run over Jinx. Spike's planted and it's towards the B side actually. Paper Rex now using C. 
for their staging ground. And there comes Paper Rex yet again. My will get to the Vi gets on the board. BMVZ throughout the hole. And he does get the cipher, but it's the Vi right now with a quick trade. Forsaken in the middle, looking around for another target all the way in the middle. It's Heisey he hiding by the crate. But that is just Forsaken with a quick shot anyway. Finds the pixel. There's a point Forsaken though with a shot. Doesn't get the kill. But it's Jing instead with a takedown on the BMVZ of SPY is witnessing their power firsthand. I'm surprised that Acerola had like 40 HP left. He was legged out to be in like 20 HP. Oh man, Killers wanted to be cheeky, but Jing was already on the case. They finally separated uh, each other, their remaining members of Fancy. That being said, it's only like two players, so there's not really much left to the imagination. But yes, I can. Still good on the fight. Has to back away as he is stunned by the paranoia. Can't see the buy and Hope Forsaken coming through on mid, so whether wherever he goes, really the case for Jing here. Forsaken is left on an island, has to work his magic, but they actually lost where he is. Finally swatted him out in the air, but the rest of the squad has now come into play here at Defender's spawn. My freaking Venkai, splash, splashing at the back of the site. Venkai snuck himself already at the cross here. If somebody peeks out, he will find the kill. They already know that they're actually trapped right there, but good stuff from Acerola to keep the fight in their hands. Mind Freak tries to go in, manage a 2 versus one not going to go here as PRX will be stacking now towards a site. He made a lot of noise though. Yes, I can. Does have the flash. Actually, trip double flash with the help of Killer. So if they can find at least a vision here, they will be able to fight. Jing has already been knocked off, but they were very reciprocative of what was going to happen. But this still is BMB. They didn't expect him to actually be there, but Benkai has actually just crept away all through, uh, all through short. And even though I would say that was a very, very good sell for Fancy Move, it got quickly dismantled. Spike planted. That's to leave us into a 3 versus 2, with Mind Freak going all through spawn and helping us a fair night rotate now. It's gonna be a weird crossfire fight with Fancy U at the disadvantage. We have Paper Rex here. He got the punish onto someone like Killer S and Venkai down in hell. Ace Rola though swinging just to the high frenzy and hat and the Vi so quick on the shots even. They're on a not so rainy day. Paranoia thrown on over. Double stack towards the rock. Peaks after the flash. And it's Jingo who takes care of business to get to the Vi. The only casualty here for PRX right now. And suddenly again, it's the force of Fate for Rex pushing towards Fancy United. And they not only try and keep one up, but. It really feels like Paper Rex here is playing at a completely different speed and case in point. Nothing really... Oh, maybe? Yes, I can. Can find the frags here. Benkai has already kind of lost the angle there, but Forsaken is still holding the one right here. Jing, Empress, and the Smiths for a lot more control, a lot more dip back into the site style of options for him, which he does. Acerola and Heisey going to be coming in through the flank now. And this is going to maybe mix up Paper Rex. That being said... Forsaken has no more dash, so maybe if they can catch him, that's gonna be something, but Defy just charges out and gets a pick? That's huge. Jing? Oh, he gets taken down, but... He tried to full control, but again... Yeah, Trigger Discipline just to start the chain of kills, but... Paper Rex is dead here, Asurai. He might actually get caught. Heisey's actually pushed himself out. Benkai into the corner, but they didn't check his location because of the Cypher Cage. This is just too damn much for Fancy to manage. The Flash will come through. Benkai does not get blinded at all. Even has the Neural Thing. No, number, no namers in the upper bracket final of their local stage. So the flashback there, perhaps Benkai. Just so quick, out of nowhere, coming in from the belt, 2v2, FCY, they went for the push, wanted to go for the punish, but Paper Rex was already awaiting them, but the shots come Last from Yes I Can, as Forsaken ascends to the heavens, Divide though, with a trade, and Hi-Z is there to get the catch, everything now left to Jing, but there you have the shot, goes for the self heal, and the ding on the Hi-Z to win it out anyway, a clutch moment for Paper Rex, compared to the B side, where they're hanging on back, playing into the orange crates instead, and the buy does get caught out here by Acerola. Yeah, it doesn't have any weapons to actually be picked up by Acerola, Acerola so this is just gonna be at least an indicator. Ooh, did I actually hit? Oh no, I think he broke something else or maybe just hit the wall. That being said though, yes I can. Ready to actually fight against Forsaken here. Jing caught to just stay inside his own wall for the moment while uh, Benkai is giving him that assistance. Delayed lurk to come through on Mind Freak. Benkai's already been dealt with. And Mind Freak making some waves here as also Jing trying to fight the angles. And he is working magic with his Spectre. Now holds it inside itself. Uh, Spike starting to get planted down. But Jing denies. Goodness, Fancy you. They don't know what to do on this one. 
as they just have to keep tapping the spike. One, not just two, that's four people right in front of you. Mike Freak still gets one, that's big intel though for Paper X that the sights are clear. And they have to watch the flag instead from the garage. The Vi is waiting. If no one checks this, this is perfect for Paper X. And there's the shot, and it's clean again. Absolutely aim heavy with the chamber, avoiding the presses even. Yes, I can. The with the duel, yes. He's gonna want to maybe fight for something, but... No, no, no fighting. Nope. Not allowed. No fighting. For all, of course. They have the better guns. There's one Spectre, there's two Sheriffs. But Killer F will get the clean shot. BMVZ on the board. Here comes now the zero point. It's a big suppress onto two. KO might be able to put on the impact even more so as yes, I can't get, get another one. Fancy United now finally hunkering down to hold off Paper X. Still, you can't uh, get that sigh of relief as Forsaken full on HP still has a dash. Very deadly on the case. With the help of Benkai, he can still make things work out in the open. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. Still has room to breathe. If he wants to, he can try to pick up maybe the orb, but he only needs one kill to activate the blades if he wants to go Super Saiyan, if at all ever. Already spots out one, trying to isolate the fight now. BMB at the back of the site. He's gonna get a step closer into it. Oh, once in top, once in front. He actually makes it work enough. 3 HP in a dream, but... Again, okay. too many angles for Forsaken to manage. What the Mind Freak is gonna do? He does. He does. And reacts just to prove it. But, but you make a really good point, honestly. You know, that's that's what you want to do to blockade that vision, but through the gates, it's Paper Rex now pushing on forward. Jing don't knife out this time. Heisey is there, ready to go for the trade. But Forsaken has swooped on in. Remaining. And this hero finds two immediately dashing on left. to the back. Through to the middle. Paper Rex already I making the impact. And, oh, yes, I can. What you doing there? Misses the shot. Down the plates. Yes, I can from afar. Okay, I love that shot. But the Vi this time will do. Here. But for Spield right now, you can see yeah. that the scoreline, it's it's quite commanding. FCY, though. Guns are in hand here, Asurai. And they even got BMV, who had arguably the better, the best weapon, supposedly, to be used by Fancy <laughs> U there. Wow. Yeah, this doesn't what work. A fake out. Not really a fake out, but what a read from Paper Rex to kind of just slow the pace on Belt and then Mind Freak peeks it out. Now, Forsaken is in the fight against BMV. <laughs> Who's the better? <laughs> the French oh, yeah. fan was out oh. angry. Oh, Hunter Fury, let's go. Bad Kai gets his tag. Gets second tag and finally secures the kill onto Yes I Can. No more smokes for you here, Fancy United. And BMVZ, he has an off in hand, but not really the right position right now, holding towards green instead. That was actually weird, because Acerola was the one that got tagged, but it was Yes I Can that died. So, Acerola actually brought the ultimate to his teammate. It's the worst thing you could, have, you could ever do for to a teammate when you actually get tagged by a Sova. So. Really? I thought the worst thing you could do is just like, you, you friendly fire them to death while they're trying no, to defuse the spike. That's with good intention. This one uh, wasn't. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm learning here, but Fancy United... They're learning that there's so many lessons that you can learn from Paper Rex right now. Nice flick though over to the Vi. He's able to adjust it accordingly. At least to get the takedown. But now they know. Paper Rex, will they hunt BMVZ down? The flank is real from Mind Freak. The pinch is getting ready and it's all about timing. He even goes around the yellow crate right now just to be a big bother. And BMVZ, oh the barrel, it's too big. Sometimes size does matter. But not in the run around, so it's amazing. I like this again, FCY. They get more success when they're holding off their own aggression and instead waiting. But Forsaken what? still gets the pick anyway. Quick on the reaction, Nacer Roller goes down. He's making a lot of noise, and they know that for it's Forsaken, so that's why they want to just double up as an entire group. But Spike is already halfway, if not there, on the B. Mind freak on the timing. He's gonna get pinched here. And yes, I can once again able to lurk and open up opportunities as is actually Forsaken that got picked off. My face is still here! I thought he was the one that got picked off! And maybe just maybe he can get the kills, the value! Yes, he does! Use the Viper ultimate already! Forces him right in. The flasher from Killer does absolutely nothing. And BMB is just one bullet away. And Mind Freak picks up the 4k. Price. And also, I think it was suppressed. Like, Jing might have gotten caught out by the zero points. So they oh, did yeah, have an right. inkling that he was there in the first place. But Forsaken shows up to clash immediately. And Icy goes down to the rest. With the trade, yes. But Jing will get one more. So trade for trade right now. Bad guy now decided to just push on forward. And are we gonna still go for the one for once? Yes, we do. Now it's a 1v1 between BMVC and Mind Freak. 15 seconds left of Fatsy United. BMVC is forced to push. But the whiff! The whiff for once for Paper Rex! The trademark here just in case. Dark comes. 
Fragment is there, and Mind Freak is caught out. Yes, I can with the burn and the takedown. That was like four people just. <laughs> what's the word here? Uh, focusing to get the, the assist just to get the kill on um, Mind Freak there. The Vi joins in onto the fray. So, last person standing. He'll not approach this with a bit of difference. Here we go. Time for the push, perhaps? It's already stopped in its traps to start things off. The rail there as Ace Rolla. He will fall to the hand of Jing. Wait for Rex. They're playing the handback game, but they're still finding a few frauds along the way through the smoke. That one way not too helpful. Jing will find the takedown onto Yes I Can anyway. The suppress is there, but they still know that FCO is right here. Jing already gonna get three. Make that a 4K for the Sage! We already know. A lot more aggressive Forsaken. They love this wall boost, but the flash is even better here. Just to kind of keep them contained. But even as I say this, Fancy are starting to make waves. Forsaken's picked up the rifle now, and he has to wait for a bit of response for his team because now he's alone. Going out. He's been picked off. Yeah, they're at the cusp of this victory, but they, it's going to be difficult for them if they play too greedily. You can see so quickly Fancy Knight that just able to find the punishes anyway. Flash perfect, where the force is there. He's rolling now. He goes over to the Raptors. 5v2 and make that 5v1 as Venkai is the only one left. Clean round here so far from Fancy. They're going to be going on to the outside here. And I wonder what the plan is right now. Mid to be push can't actually set up on the high ground. But Forsaken with the takedown of the BFDZ to start things off. Bandcamp pushing. Jing is there. Two for the trade right now. And FCY planting right on top here. So two versus three though. It's dangerous waters here for Fancy Knight that they have put themselves in the corridor of doom and demise. The only way to get out with a hall pass. Has to be them remaining. getting the shots on, but this is the power of the Viper to counteract this. Mind Freak with a takedown on the Ace of Rolla. Here comes Forsaken pushing on forward. Clappers there taps it. Yes, I can though. Still fighting on back. Mind Freak with one HP. Spray is real. And it's all left to divide right now. Two of the forces out. The big barrel scene. And yes, I can. It's the rally call again. You can see that the Killer SC has taken more of a sporting role right now. It's been absolutely helpful for FCY, but that's not going to help whatsoever. The aggressive hey, controller, the Omen. Down to the hand of Forsaken to start things off. 410 now to play. Press is detected, but not exactly where he is, and suddenly the surprise is real. As it does become a two for two trade as we move towards that the site. Ben Kaito lobbing the dart, trying to throw it towards the defaults. It seems like Heisey wants to avoid it. A bit of chip damage though, anyway. PRX. Stopping the initial plant, and there's the peak, but via VC will just be driving it home to get to all left after the five. And he has not died here yet. But actually planted here, Asurai. It's a game of cat and mouse. Let's see who can actually get the catch on high Zito towards his left end. Fancy United again survive. For Rex, they, as you mentioned, rally back. Everybody just knows how to go into overtime. And that's what they're leading towards here. And now the buy just a bit too over eager to left. get that punish. But he was being flushed out slowly but surely. Not fast enough to get the pick off in the end. Left to Bangai and Mind Freak here. They are coming through. Actually, also Forsaken. He had such tiny HP that I couldn't really tell he was alive. But um, now it is going to be that three versus four. But weapons not really favoring the Paper X roster as these long range encounters will be where FCY are king. And look at that. Heisey starts it off with an explosive headshot onto Forsaken. Yeah, he's heating up. Spike Diffuse though is upon us. Benkai able to get half. No ben way. Kai? What? Defenders win. A fanciful way to win this game, perhaps? We'll see this run keep on going. Man, as I mentioned, there's always that one player from Fancy.